everyone, welcome to another Grant Me video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into U of T computer science. We're going to talk all about the academics of the program, what makes it a great program. We're going to be talking about the admission process, talk about student life, and also funding in the end. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But for that, make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below. The first thing I want to talk about is the career opportunities that U of T computer science has. It's really important that when you're choosing a career that you're looking for future career opportunities and within two years of graduation 90% of graduates uh, who are in the labor market are employed and with a median salary of $69,884 every single year um, upon entering the workforce. And U of T Computer Science, they also have a co-op and non-co-op program, so you can apply to either one. If you want to get a little bit of work experience while studying, make sure you apply for the co-op program. If not, that's totally fine as well. If you love to travel and love to have new experiences, U of T has 130 partner schools for exchanges and they have fall, winter, and full year exchange programs that you can take advantage. Um, this is a great program where you can definitely get to know um, different countries, different cultures, and get different experiences to not only put on your resume, but also just make yourself a better and more rounded person. In terms of courses, U of T Computer Science is a little bit different. It's a sec technically a second year program, but when you apply, you can get admitted to the Arts and Science Year 1 Computer Science Admission category, which is called CMP1, which is basically like a pre-admission program to uh, U of T Computer Science. And you basically get guaranteed admission as long as you meet these requirements um, in your first year. You need to at least complete a 4.0 full course um, equivalent course load. You have to complete CSC 110Y1 with a minimum mark of 70%. You have to complete CSC 111H1 with a minimum of 77% uh, for the specialist or major um, of, for computer science or 70% if you want just the minor. Um, you need to complete MAT 137Y1 or MAT uh, 157Y1 for a specialist or major only. And then you would request on a program on the ACORN portal during your first program request period. In terms of the admissions for UFT Computer Science out of high school, the required courses that you need to take is six um, grade 12 level courses, including calculus and English. The other four can be uh, academic electives that are approved at the U or M level in Ontario and equivalent um, all across the rest of the world. In addition to this, there's also a supplemental application. So in the supplemental application, it comprises of four short answer questions. The applicant will also be asked to reflect on a personal experience and qualities. And then these questions are not specific to just computer science and it is not, um, there's not, it is not timed. In terms of some admission statistics, the admission average is around a low 90%. Definitely recommend trying to get a 95 plus average just because U of T Computer Science is a very competitive school to get a lot of applicants. And just in case if your year um, application, the averages are slightly higher, it's always great to have a buffer room. Um, in terms of acceptance rate, um, they typically range around 43%. So it is a competitive program and you definitely need to write a strong supplemental application, also have the grades to back it up. In terms of U of T residences, it is a little bit of a complicated process just because there's so many colleges that they split up into depending on your major, your program, etc. So I just dropped the link down in um, the bio where you can check out the different residence and residence options yourself. But in addition to just residence, you also have U of T sponsored off-campus housing where you can rent. If you're wondering what you can eat with a residence meal plan, you get $6,000 worth of credits and you have to use all $6,000 in your first year. It is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't transfer over to the next year. So make sure you use all $6,000 in order to maximize that value. When we're talking about social life in the heart of Toronto, there's so much to do. There's so many restaurants to try out. Um, and the Eaton Center is right there. So you can definitely take a trip, even a weekend trip to the CN Tower, Toronto Island. There's so many things that you can do with your friends. And even in this Christmas season, you can go to the Toronto Christmas Market. For libraries to study at, there are 44 affiliated libraries for U of T, but the main library that everybody knows 
is the Robarts 24 library. This is the most popular library because one, it's one of the biggest in North America and one of the biggest just like in general. Um, it's also 24 hours so you can go there at any time to study with your friends or whatever you want. When we're talking about the club scene at University of Toronto, it is really big. There's a whopping over a thousand different clubs. There's Quidditch, you can join a club to make new friends. There's also like the computer science um, student community which you can join to definitely connect with like-minded peers and make new friends. Now onto the last section we will talk about today, which is funding. So starting off with tuition for domestic students for year one, it is $6,100. And then for year two to four, it is $11,420. Uh, for international students, for year one is $59,000, and then for the upper years, it is $61,350. Although the tuition is quite expensive, there are some scholarships that you're able to kind of chip away at um, the tuition. So I want to highlight two things. One, the National Scholarship, which is a full ride for domestic students, and then there's a Lester Beer Pearson full ride international scholarship, but there are also a ton of different awards in these in this portal that I'm about to link down in the bio. So make sure you check it out. It's UFT's like new award explorer. You can check out the different um, awards and scholarships that are available to you. In terms of automatic entrance scholarships, there's two I wanna highlight again. This is one, the President Scholar of Excellence, which is $10,000, and then there's the UFT Scholars Program, which is $7,500. These are automatic and it depends on your academic excellence from high school. All right, lastly, but not finally, let's talk about financial aid. Um, so University of Toronto does have a student aid program, it's called UTSU, um, and they also have UTAPS, which stands for University of Toronto Advanced Planning for Students, and it's basically financial aid slash a bursary, and Ontario students just automatically updates um, after you do your OSAP, but if you're out of Ontario, you have to submit an application onto um, to UTAPS to update your financial information just to see if you're eligible for any financial aid. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe and good luck if you're interested in applying to the University of Toronto Computer Science Program. If you're interested in any support with scholarships or admissions, check out the free three minute quiz down in the description to see if you're eligible for any of Grammy's support. With that, thank you for watching again and hope to see you guys in a future video.